expansion yes let's go let's take it a step further let's not waste time let's take some risks all right so i think we're in a good position to uh continue our journey here so we've done a few schedules a few deliveries we've changed the um, amount of items that we get from um our purchasing agents so this should cover us uh, for the most part and uh, we did a few changes in the way our stores look so as you can see just by adding a little bit of uh, touches to the floor we are now sitting at a hundred percent interior for this one a hundred for this one where tech is at a hundred as well and tbc well it's uh, tbc but uh yeah it's still um it's still not done yet um it's not temporarily closed it will start to sell that's not a problem there and as you can see everything here looks pretty fine with the current uh, customer capacity set 60 per hour so it's looking pretty good and let's check our candidates here do we have people with no tasks yes we do so we got a couple of security guards which we employed for the uh, schmapple store and tbc and unfortunately we don't have any lockers for them however we did uh, we did get a few there's two coming uh, for the tbc store but there's none for the schmapple store other than these guys uh, i think the rest of them are pretty okay what's this oh it's sick not a problem we do have our hr manager to take care of these kind of things uh we're sitting at 25 well that was that's the reason why i came in in the screen so we were at 24 out of 40 and as soon as i clicked filled all as you can see we're at 40 out of 40 so uh we need to speak with our headhunter because they're not doing anything and uh, we can stop the recruitment and we need a new hr manager because we're expanding at such a rate that our current HR manager has reached its capacity and we need another one to make sure that everyone has the attention that they need from uh, our HR manager so let's say uh, benefit demand okay we don't have any points left it's fine you're gonna start recruiting for this as it is okay perfect so we just need to wait a bit of time to um, to get that delivery and I think it might just uh, might just be a good idea to just uh, do a little bit of interior designing here. Oh, what's this? Is this new? This animal print? New? I kind of dig this. Or maybe I never looked at these ones because they're so cheap. So, check this out. I mean, if the space was smaller, it would look really cool. But this store is so big, it just makes it look horrible. At least for me. I don't know. Any patterns is just too much for my eyes. When the stores are these kind of sizes right so i'm gonna go i think this was the color that we used previously so that's 115,000. maybe it's not a good time to to do it now uh just because we have some uh, deliveries that will come our way so let's first um let's first deal with um with the employees that we currently have and later on we can take care of the other stuff so anything else that we have here we have customer service so tbc store currently has all the employees that they need for the the checkout counters we got cleaning stations covered as well we just need the security ones audio aura is it 24 7 it is so there's not a problem there maple store is not so we can get a couple of employees in this one and manage it that way we do have the security guard locker so let's assign the guards here okay there is a reason so the average now is at 31 percent can we get that a bit higher? We move it like that. 55, still 55. 79%. So, okay, well, 79 is good enough. Can we get it higher? No, I think uh, I think that's pretty much it. Well, I'm quite happy to have it like this because they overlap here and it's pretty much um, the entire day covered. So other than that, we have a few customer service agents that we need to, um, we need to look into. Uh, this one has just a cleaning station. Okay, perfect. So we do have some customer service guys here that we we got for tbc and audio aura and the rest of the uh, the shops but mostly tbc um and security guards again the, the plan is to get every single shop covered um but let's start with the uh, schmapple store so we covered the security guards we need two more people to man the checkout counter and perhaps another one at the cleaning station because this is a, a big shop and it needs uh, all the help uh, we can get so uh, there's not a place here where i can see uh schmapple store because we got it for tbc but that's okay so we can go with uh, carlos here so let's move them to schmapple 
Schmapple and then also Naomi. We can move this one to Schmapple as well. So we can hire the candidates, go in here, schedule. So we got Carlos done. Full time is critical, so that's a good thing. Coral will have its hours reduced and then we can move on with, where is Naomi? Okay, so Coral is not too happy because they want to be only five days a week and clearly we're every single day and that's an important uh, thing to have. So everyone else seems to be okay and because I'm cautious about people leaving, I think we're gonna fire Coral and hire somebody else who doesn't have that, uh, that requirement to be employed. So Marion here, just full time and I think we're gonna do that for Marion. Why was this at Wertec? Is Wertec not 24 seven? It is. Why would I hire Marion for Wertec? Huh. Anyway, but yeah, so let's do um, Marion for Schmapple store higher. Oh, sorry. Higher and then go back here. And we're just going to do a swap. Marion Burbank. Done. So unfortunately, in the employees section here, uh, Coral will have to... Um, well, I was going to say we have to fire Coral, but... I did say I wanted another person to uh, handle the cleaning station. So maybe it's not all lost. You happy with this, Coral? So we can uh, just remove. So we're going to untick this box and say Wednesdays you don't work and also Fridays you don't work. And that way, five days a week. Now it's ticked. So all good. If I re-tick this box, depending on which view I have, it's going to apply to every single day. So we need to just be very careful with this. I'm sure I'm going to forget in the near future. And I'm going to ask myself, why is it not working anymore? And then I'm going to remember that uh, I've done this. I'm going to say I'm stupid or something like that. I'm relatively sure this is going to happen. But I guess uh, by now you got used to me. So I make mistakes sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. Anyway, so Schmapple store is doing 82.5K average daily income. So I cannot wait to see what the TBC store is able to perform. Um, but I think it's time for us to go to bed because there isn't a lot of other things that we can do other than expansion yes let's go let's go take this adventure let's take it a step further let's not waste time let's take some risks well it's not really a risk because we have 161k in the bank and we know we have at least one of the three stores that is doing quite well so it's not really a risk but i want to have these stores like i said one next to the other so i think it's time for us to do it we're gonna do it gonna start a new business of course it's gonna be an electronic store and it's gonna be tbc2 because yes i'm relying on you guys to help me out with the name of this one if you want to name it uh, something special the sisters the twins whatever it's uh, it's your call just waiting for your uh, lovely ideas your fruitful ideas in the comment section and we're gonna pick one for these ones so let's start the business for uh, this one and let's see we go with, with a green logo and a black background and the font color should be green as well yeah sure why not who cares about the logo right not me i'm not creative anyway we've got everything that uh, we need to get this started so to speak um can we place another delivery probably not no so this is going to be delivered on the day 207. So let's get this out of the way. Let's go to bed and then we can place another delivery for our second TBC store and just ramp up entirely all the profits that we can make. Just be right there because I am feeling pressured. I'm not going to lie. I am currently feeling pressured about this um, secondary objective that we've uh, placed. So um, yeah, go to bed. Let's see how the day goes. Get that delivery. Ah, we're going in a sad period. I don't care. 92,000. That's that's good. We got the shipments from uh, Ica and the AJ. And what does this guy want? Kenny. Hey, boss. I've been enjoying working here so far. But moving forward, I have a new demand. Peaceful working environment. Okay. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I need to work on my happiness skills. And, um, well, in real life, I'm quite a happy guy. So uh, does that count? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, we need to get here, I believe. Is this the place where we need to be? Uh, I forgot. So, okay, at TBC. Well, it's right in front of my face. I should have just uh, clicked out of it. Let's uh, manage the storage. What's in the paperback? Fresh food. Perfect. Now we should be a little bit happier because we're not starving anymore. Okay, so let's start with the planter boxes. 
right? Because um, we wanted to get this uh, store nice and ready. So planter boxes are a great way to um, embellish your entrance, at least uh, in my view. But you know this already because I've been uh, talking about it uh, for quite some time now. And I'm not gonna stop because I love plants in real life and in game as well. They're, uh, they're very cool plants. They don't ask for much but they do provide you with oxygen and with love. Look at this, you can put one here. You can do whatever you want with a, with a nice plant here, one in between the restrooms and another one here on the side. Yeah, they're, they're quite nice, right? So next up we got the JBL speakers because we will have people that will complain about the state uh, of this shop and by state I mean the deafening silence. All right, so two at the back here and then another two at the front or depending on how you look at things, maybe you will consider this is the back of the shop and the other place, the, the entrance is the front. I don't know, you figure it out. Anyway, it's going in there. And then we have to uh, populate this with security cameras. And uh, I mentioned this before in a previous episode and um, in I think two other videos, if I'm not mistaken. But if you missed it, uh, basically I was uh, discussing the topic of security cameras and looking at the video presentation that the devs were doing. Um, you can find that on uh, Hofgar Games. Um, YouTube channel. Uh, they were basically showcasing the electronic store and uh, I saw that uh, the cameras were placed only above the product tables, not everywhere else in the shop like um, I used to do. So I thought to myself, well, since they are doing this, they must have a reason why. So I will do the same. And I decided to uh, follow their lead because they should know more about this uh, game than I do because they're the ones that make it. And uh, it also costs a lot of money to have... Um, security cameras everywhere and it's actually better for you as an entrepreneur as a businessman uh, from a um, cost perspective so that's pretty much the reason behind um, my tiny changes in the way i do things and hopefully it's not gonna be a bad thing but yeah i'm pretty certain we're okay so let's see does tbc have every single thing that they need so fish phones anime phone earbuds yeah we don't have smart watches so these products display tables will definitely come in close to cover the last remaining parts of our development here. I'm sure smartwatches are not gonna be a hit. I mean, anything compared to um, the earphones is just, uh, just not as strong. But you can't go wrong with this, right? So we need to max out uh, the store, especially because it's in Midtown and we'll do the same with the, the other one that we just got today. And I'm sure this is gonna be a great success. Just wait and see this uh, balance here. I'm gonna keep on growing. So looking at this, I don't think it would look nice if I put another row at the bottom here. But at the same time, we do have space. So it's not that bad, right? Yeah, I think we're good. It's a very boring placement. I know, I know. And I agree with you. But the idea behind this is not to have the most uh, luxurious or entertaining uh, style of placing tables in a shop. The goal here is just to get... The entirety of the products sold in our stores so we have an opportunity to maximize our profits right uh, and we have one last plant uh, you can stay here like that fancy okay uh, last bit remaining is to uh, set this up for the smartwatches right so your uh, Zanaman phone Zanaman smartwatches and here we got the RT smartwatch. Unfortunately, we don't have enough smartwatches to cover all these tables because we made the uh, smart decision to not overstock on these items because we know they don't sell that well. Um, but with the um, acquisition of this other store, we will definitely need to readjust the amount of items we ask from uh, the import export company. That's for sure. So what other delivery did we have? I think that was it. There was one from Ica at TBC. Okay, so there were both deliveries done at the same time at 10 o'clock. So that's why we have everything here. So let's, uh, let's see, uh, how much money do we need to get the delivery from our jet car cargo import? So we need uh, ooh, 245,000. Is that post our change? Hmm, that's quite a bit. Let's go to bed and we'll uh, 
we'll see how much profit we got and if we can afford the uh, delivery so 132,000 really strong we'd love to see that what do you want a peaceful working environment i know i know i'm working on it do we have uh stock we don't so that's a little bit of a problem and i am concerned that the reason behind it is because our jet cargo canceled but it didn't okay good so i think we just sold everything right that's pretty much how it went vendoring pricing uh tbc2 well it's tbc2 shouldn't be looking at that now should i so audio aura has eight products left schmapple store is dying only noise headphones wear tech also dying so either it's gonna happen soon or it's gonna happen after tonight either way you got 332,000 in the bank and that's it for today's episode thank you for watching and if you like what you saw consider leaving a like and subscribing it really supports the channel but no worries if not just glad you stopped by anyway see you in the next one